Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Thunder, and today we're going to be creating a minimap system like you're seeing on screen right now. This is quite simple, so let's get started. The first thing that we're going to be doing is creating a very simple script just to have our minimap follow a player. So I'll go into your scripts folder, I'm going to go to UI, right click, create, and I'm going to call this C -sharp script minimap camera. Go ahead and open it up. On our script, it's actually very simple. All we're going to do is delete the start function. Then we'll create a serialized private transform, which we'll call target. Create a serialized private float, which we'll call follow speed. This will be equal to 10 by default. On our update function, all we got to do is transform.position equals vector3.lerp. We'll pass our current position, which will be transform.position, comma, target dot position comma follow speed times time that delta time and that's it for scripting on unity what we're going to first do is set up the actual minimap ui i already have a canvas created but if you don't right click ui canvas but i'll be using this one so right click on your canvas and create an empty game object which we're going to call minimap inside here we create a ui image which i'm going to call background then duplicate that image over call it mask, right click on minimap now, go to UI, and in this case we're going to create a raw image. I'm going to call this map. Over here on my game folder, I'm going to right click, create, and I'm going to select render texture. This is going to be called minimap. Give it a size of 1024 by 1024. Select your map and drag the minimap render texture. Go over to your player armature, right click on him, create empty, and we're going to call this minimap camera. Inside of it, we'll go ahead and right click and we're going to create a new camera. Select this camera and over here, we're going to select the projection instead of perspective. We'll go with orthographic. This will make it fully 2D. I'll also go ahead and rotate it 90 degrees forward. Then I'm going to lift it up a little. Well, actually lift it up a lot. Something like that should work. For the size, We'll give it something like 10. And the last thing to do is scroll down. And over here where it says target texture, we're going to drag the minimap render texture. What we're doing is basically what this camera is seeing, we're placing it on this texture, and then we're displaying this texture on our minimap, which you can see right here. So let's go ahead and set up our minimap now. I'm going to select the minimap empty game object. And as you can see, our camera already is viewing the minimap. But I'm going to move it down, actually over to the top left. I'm going to give this three a size of 400. And in the case that you want to make borders for it, what you're going to do is you're going to select the background and I'm going to give it a width of 430 by 430. In my case, the minimap is a little bit larger than I expected. So I'm just going to select the entire thing and I'm just going to resize it. In the case that you want to make the minimap circular, this is what we created this mask for. What we're going to do is select the mask and we're going to add a mask component to it. Where it says show mask graphic, we'll disable it. On the source image, we're going to pick a circular image. If you have any of this, you can use them or you can just use the knob, which is always by default. Select your map and drag it into the mask and you can see how it just took the circular shape. For making the background also circular, you'll also just select it, select the circular uh, UI and you can see we got a circular minimap. The last thing to do is to add our script. For this, we'll select the minimap camera and drag it out of our player. Then we'll add the minimap camera script. For the target, we'll pass our player. On our game, we can now see that if we move around, our minimap follows us and it's no longer static. The last thing to do now is to add icons for things like pickups and our actual player. For this, we're gonna be using layers. Go ahead and select your player and where it says layer, click on it, add layer. We're going to create a new layer called minimap. Then to create our 3D icons, we're gonna go into our player, right click UI, and we'll create a new canvas. I'm going to call this minimap icon. Over here on the canvas component, on the render mode, we're going to change it to world space. Then we'll center it. And you can see here that the canvas is actually there and does exist, but we need to resize it. So. Let's just scale it down. And there we go, you can see it. So about there, then we'll right click and we're going to create an image for the icon. 
I will go ahead and increase the scale just a little bit so that it's more visible. Then select the minimap icon and we're going to just rotate it 90 degrees and lift it up above our player. For the icon, I'm basically just going to be using the same circle that I've been using up to this point, just that I'm going to make it a different color for things like the pickups. You can see now we can actually see the circle, but there's a problem. We can also see it up here in our camera. That's why we created the minimap layer. So go ahead and select your minimap icon and we're going to change its layer to be minimap. Just change children. We'll then select the main camera and we'll make it so that the main camera cannot view minimap. We're going to go over to where it says cooling mask, click on it and disable minimap. In the case that you don't want the minimap to be able to see something specific, you would select the minimap camera and do the same thing on the cooling mask. For example, if I disable default, I can no longer see the world. So that's how you do it. Now I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same process for the health pickup. Also, if you want to be able to tell where your player is looking at, all I did for this was I duplicated this guy over, resized him, and just moved him forward. And that was it. On our game, we can now see our minimap, we can see the icons and everything, and we can tell where our player is looking at. So there you go. That's how you create a fully functional minimap system. If you guys liked the video, consider subscribing, leave a like down below, and comment. And I'll see you guys in the next one.